Hey guys, day 77 on our journey to build a $1 million software company. This week was a big coding week, so I'm gonna give you guys a demo of where we are so far and how I got there. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit about marketing and just the progress we've made on that. And I'll share my goal for next week, which is to get this product out there in the live. And on a side note, school just got out, so this summer has started already, and with three kids in the house, it is gonna be a little crazy. I'm excited for the challenge. <laughs> Picking up from last week, last week I talked about a product-led growth idea I had about creating a free product that I can give away that's more viral and it's a little bit easier to market that can lead to turn into a funnel for the main product, new teammate. Last week I kind of stubbed out a lot of that work and this week I got really deep into it. So I've pretty much finished the database backend, which we're, like I said before, we're using Airtable as just the very first thing. We're gonna have to change that later, but um, I just wanna get something out quickly. I pretty much have the whole experience coded up. There's just, now we're at the place of like knocking out all the little bits and details. The biggest probably progress of the week was the video processing implementation. Videos get uploaded to Amazon S3 and and then there's a whole process that takes to get those videos accessible to multiple devices at different bandwidths and make that a speedy process. That was the big uh, work of the week. Let's jump into a demo of where I'm at so far. Okay, so here's the great thing about building all the front end work first. Um, you, you know, if you can find a way to build a front end product without actually writing any database code, you can really work out the kinks in terms of user experience so that when it comes time to build the database in the back end, you're pretty confident about what you got. I, in Notion, basically created a small table like this where I can create the different database tables and the fields that I need. Um, I actually got started on this and then it was so simple that I kind of walked away from it. But just to show you kind of the, the planning progress of how I do this. Okay, so let's run through a demo of what I've built so far. So here is the home page. You can immediately create your page. So let's record a video real quick and get it going. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm building a startup in public. I'm trying to build a $1 million startup and you can check out my YouTube channel to see my progress on that. And links below show the apps that I'm building right now. Thanks. Okay, that was fine, but <laughs> I could do better, but let's just, let's just move on. So let's see, we're gonna call myself Colin Matthews. I'm gonna use a fake email for just this test process here. John Doe. And I'm gonna hit create your page and then we're gonna upload that video. And then we get taken straight in and it starts processing immediately. So this is the um, this is the app here. We got the three pages. You know, I can be adding links here like this, like um uh, and get a description. Like that. Okay. So I have this like free time remaining piece. I'm gonna ha add, you know, eventually this is gonna let people bump this up. For right now, it's just hard coded. It doesn't even go down. So um, we're gonna get to that later. Same thing with the upgrade. On the account process here, it's really just editing your email. I haven't implemented this stuff yet, but I have like the screens for it. Um, so we're just really ready to just plug that in. Um, the upsell is ready to go. And let's see, here's what one looks like that's kind of more live. This is one that I've actually kind of worked on a little bit. So we've got um, four different uh, links I've got on here. Um, I've got this sort of like preview of the vi of the video with just the animated uh, frames of it every five seconds or so. And we've got you know a great video I here we can on, watch. And I've got a little create a Snaptro page here on the left that's gonna sell this to other people. So hope this is the viral component that we're hoping to promote. And you can change the colors of your background so you can, you know, go with red and you can tweak these colors however you, you know, get your branding the way you want it to be. So that's pretty fun. And, you know, all these links open in new windows. So um, the hardest thing here definitely was the video processing stuff and like all those files that exist on S3. Temporary files, you need the policies to have those get deleted over time so that you don't rack up charges there. So trying to find a way to do that in the most cost effective way. I think I'm done with that actually. And that's the same process it's going to be for a new teammate. So that's going to be super super reusable. In terms of marketing, I feel like I'm making progress. So I've been spending most of my time doing lots of interviews and market feedback and planning and building and getting things moving. Um, I've been trying to continue my marketing learnings along the way and prep myself. So um, the progress so far, continuing to use Tweet Hunter. Tweet Hunter has been really great for me. Um, I'm definitely feeling myself getting better at writing tweets. I can just tell the content's getting better. You can see from my stats that things are still pretty flat right now, but it's just an ongoing thing. We're going to check in with that later. I created a new avatar on Twitter um, using Cartoonify, which is a really nice app for creating something simple. Could do better by like hiring an artist, but I definitely don't have the budget for that or time for that right now. And I just feel like on um, social media, YouTube and all that, I need a more 
uh, standout avatar. So that was the kind of impulse for doing that. Um, I've been reading a lot about product hunt strategies because we're going to be doing that with Snapcho not too distant future. Also been thinking about SEO strategies with long tail content, especially thinking about how Linktree and LinkedIn's profile video features are good things to piggyback off of. I'm starting to compile a list of websites that lists free startup tools so that I can maybe get a partnership with them and give Snapchat away for free with that. I'm also jotting down ideas for other ways I can give out free licenses of Snapchat uh, Snap to generate some activity. I came across a LinkedIn feature uh, this week that was kind of, uh, I didn't know it existed. It's been around, I guess, for about a year and it's, it's profile videos. So basically in your avatar on LinkedIn, you can click on that and turn it into a video. It's a 30 second introduction of yourself, which is exactly what I'm doing. The first gut reaction, whenever that kind of stuff happens is like, oh no, someone's like doing what you're doing. But first of all, it's very different. And also it's really big validation that I'm on the right track here. What What is different about it? Snaptro doesn't require an app to do it. You can do it on your phone, tablet, desktop. It works without installing anything. So you can make these very easily. It's also front and center, the video. On LinkedIn, it's buried kind of in your avatar. Uh, they need to do that for the way their product works, but this is all about the video. So for us, it's front and center, much easier to play. It's also a video for your homepage to the internet. So it's not just your LinkedIn profile. It's all about you. This makes me feel really good about where we're headed and how I can maybe piggyback off this idea. So people are getting introduced to this concept from big players. That's a great way for me to tap into that learning process and also that um, awareness. Uh, the other really nice thing is I can see how people are doing their videos. What kinds of introductions are people making? It's really very similar to what I'm hoping people will do. That's been something that kind of opens my eyes to how this product could get used, how I can sell it, how I can promote it. Okay, so what are my goals for next week? Um, this week I got really far in the coding process, but there's still a decent amount of work to do. I think by next week I can have something live and, and actually usable that I can then start to promote. I'll seed it with some initial use and get some feedback so I can work out some of the kinks, but then um, it won't be that, that much longer, maybe just a couple days even, before I can start giving this away and generating some momentum. And once this is good enough to share, once we reach that point, which I'm hopeful is like maybe 10 days from now, maybe a little bit less, I'm gonna have two tracks of progress that will be going on at the same time. So one is building new teammate and getting it all ready for its use, but then also the launch and promotion of Snaptro to be generating buzz. So I'll probably be flipping back and forth between the two, which is really great because while you're building a product, usually you're just shut off from the world. Nothing is happening. You're not making any progress with the world, but I'll be doing that now because Snaptro will be growing while I'm building. So I'll have to pay attention to both, but um, I think it's going to be a really great way to get that awareness going. So please like and subscribe, stick around, give me some comments. I'm really excited that we're starting to get to that place of giving this to you guys. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend.